Away from our moon and onto Mars, where scientists from the UAE unveiled yesterday their latest findings from the Emirati Hope probe orbiting Earth's neighbor. They say they have new groundbreaking insights into the bean-shaped Martian moon hovering behind me. It's called Themos. The Hope probe got closer to Themos than any spacecraft since 1977, and its observations challenge a long-standing theory about the origins of the red planet's moons. Now, the mission is being extended for another year. I spoke to the chairwoman of the UAE space agency, Sarah Al Amiri, about the science behind it all and how this journey started. Check this out. So this all started as we were approaching Mar uh, Mars in March uh, to start uh, imaging Deimos. As the data was captured around Deimos, what we has been found out is that the composition of the moon is close to the composition of Mars, rather than being close to the composition uh, of a captured asteroid, which is the current standing theory of the origin of Mars's moons. Now, why is this significant? Um, Deimos and perhaps even Phobos can most probably be pieces of Mars, similar to Earth's moon, rather than being a captured asteroid in, in orbit around uh, Mars today. What's significant for us is because we did small maneuvers to change the, the orbit of the spacecraft slightly, we're able to continue capturing this data into our extended mission, which will continue on till next year. To say that I am elated with these findings is com a complete understatement. I think for so many people, we've seen so much interest in Mars, whether it you know, is an option for the human race down the line. So why is it important to understand a little bit more about its moons um, in terms of understanding whether it can you know, host humans at some point? So our primary science mission is actually addressing that indirectly in terms of understanding the global changes on Mars's climate and the weather system on Mars. And we're able, we were able to capture well over two terabytes of data um, on the weather system on Mars, capturing the entire year across all seasons. And as that is winding down and as an opportunity presented itself, yeah. um, and as the science team continues to, to love collecting additional data about Mars, uh, we started collecting uh, data on uh, Deimos, um, a presumed captured asteroid. There was another reason that's underlying our next mission um, is to the asteroid belt. And it was interesting to understand uh, compositions of asteroids and capturing that using the Emirates Mars mission. Now, the finding um, uh, was surprising in a way, uh, showing a composition that's closer to Mars than an asteroid, but that's the beauty of scientific discovery, and that's the beauty of doing unprecedented science uh, and capturing data around planets. It helps us understand our solar system and helps us understand uh, bodies around us. Yeah, absolutely. And as you say, you know, you, you didn't anticipate that you would get such a beautiful, clear picture of this. It's because you had extra fuel, right? Um, but I, I'm also curious about what your intentions were um, for um, the hope. Um, what, what did you actually think you were going to achieve? So in terms of our primary science, we're well underway on answering questions. We've had, this is the, going to be our third significant scientific discovery. The science team will continue to get science data. The team today is at an international conference together with other scientists that are not our team who are able to access this data through the, for the first time through the HOPE a Mars mission about Mars. And as we continue studying and discovering for us, what's important is continuing the advancements of science and technology in the UAE, advancing the industry investing further in the space sector and investing further and in realizing the potential of commercial space. Uh, this is only one prong of many programs and projects in, that are under the uh, the UAE space fund yeah. that continues to stimulate advancements and development forward. Uh, and these small pockets of, of achievements drives teams forward so that we can continue to achieve better science and great science not only for the UAE, but for the space community at large. Absolutely. Look, this um, Emirates Mars mission, is, as you say, is going to be extended for another year, but it's your first, it's the UAE's first interplanetary um, exploration um, project. And it's really significant for the UAE and in terms of what you can achieve. Um, tell me about the kind of phone calls you've been getting um, in terms of your findings, how you and the team feel um, and 
clearly the sky is the limit. Um, having worked with a team uh, for years, it's going to be 10 years, I think, at the end of this uh, year, um, just realizing the potential of a spacecraft and the impact and ripple effect it's had is enormous. This is going to be an interesting week, uh, not only for the UAE, but for the space, inter this international space sector at large. We will have the landing of the first um, commercial uh, space uh, vehicle on the surface of the moon. Those advancements are significant, not only for the UAE, but it's opening vast potential in space for us. Our first step that has stimulated quite a large activation was our mission to Mars. Uh, but today, it is not the only mission that the UAE has, nor is it the only mechanism that we are advancing and developing our commercial space sector. So as a team, um, I think excitement continues to be an understatement yeah. uh, and realizing the potential of a first mission and its impact on scientific discovery, rewriting theories, coming up with new theories is something unprecedented for us.